So all it took was one curious enthusiast to pull the curtains back on what could potentially be a new bombshell product that AMD has potentially been sitting on. The 16-core Ryzen Threadripper 1950X is already the world's most powerful desktop CPU in existence to date, but its reign on the throne of processordom won't remain uncontested for very long with the upcoming 18-core Skylake X CPU from Intel. All it took was one enthusiast and a thousand dollars. Yes, all thanks go completely to world-renowned overclocker DeBauer for taking the time and the effort and spending, well, a yeah, thousand bucks to do a Threadripper delitting. In this particular case, DeBauer did more than just a standard delitting. For all intents and purposes, what he performed was a professional autopsy. After removing the metal lid, he proceeded to unseat each of the Threadripper dies by knocking them loose from the substrate, then sandpapering the copper layer down and fully exposing the silicon. He didn't really quite buy the claim that AMD used dummy dies because to him, that would be a massive waste of silicon, which makes sense. If you were making something that was for structural support, as they claim, it would have made much more sense to modify the IHS for that purpose. Makes sense, right? Yeah? Well, what DeBauer confirmed was that AMD was in fact using four, well, functional Ryzen dies to create a single Threadripper chip. In case you're thinking, well, hey, that sounds familiar, that's because it is. AMD's Epic server processors are made with the exact same way, utilizing four Ryzen dies, which means AMD has the means to actually produce a desktop processor with up to 32 cores. Now, DeBauer goes one step further to postulate that this may be the very reason AMD is using four dies, because they could potentially have plans to produce a 32 core desktop processor. So to dig in a bit deeper, head over to the full article linked in the description below and, well, while you're there, take a vote on our running poll. But of course, until it's officially announced, you can take this one and file it under the Rumor and Speculation tab. Now, if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to give a like and a subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next one. If you have anything to add, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.